Hello and welcome to another exclusive Goody Reader video. This is Nick. And this is Marcus. Alright, today we have the Sony E-Reader 350 Pocket Edition and the Barnes & Noble Nook Wi-Fi. We're going to compare these two together, show you the pros and cons of each. Mark is going to take it away. Okay, so these are the two newest e-readers by the respected companies. Sony's been a namestay in e-readers for about the last three or four years. They've been one of the first companies to ever really make an e-reader. So they have really had time to pro and con the technology. They really went through a learning phase with their initial e-readers to having really slick designs now. If you look at, say, older model of Sony's, they don't really look as slick and as tight as this one does. Uh, same with, like, the Nook. They've really, in the, in the last year or two that they've been around, um, really, they've only really been around this year, that they really do have a really great looking device. So we're just going to look into some aspects such as page turning speeds, menu options, and cross comparisons. Now, the Nook has about, it has a solid six inch screen, whereas the Sony only has a five inch screen. You can see by just the comparisons here that this will fit in your pocket a lot easier than the Nook will. The Nook will fit in your back pocket, but it will stick out a lot, whereas this will pretty well fit in your back pocket nice and snug. Both of these e-readers will fit perfectly into a messenger bag, a purse, or if you're bringing it with you on carry-on onto flights, as well as just reading by the pool, reading outside. You can see that we have a lot, lot of light in this room but there's really hardly any glare. And that's really the benefits of e-ink is that you can read it into direct sunlight and not have any glare on the screens. So let's take a look at some facets right now. Um, we, If you want to see individual reviews of these, you can check out our YouTube channel at, at youtube.com slash good e-reader, or you can see them on our blog at goodyreader.com slash blog and simply click on the video link and you can see all of our past reviews on both of these devices. So let's just take a look at uh, a book that may be on here, or we could just check out um, Nook Tips. Okay, and uh, we'll load in via touch screen. So one of the big differences with these is despite the fact that they're both touch screen, the Sony actually has its entire e-ink screen is touch screen, whereas the Nook it's not touch screen at the top, it's only touch screen at the bottom. And we would uh, like to point out it is capacitive touch screen at the bottom, so you would have to use something like a finger or a knuckle or something like that. Okay, so this is the book we're looking at here. And let's look at page turn speeds side by side. So we're going to hit them both at the same time. You can actually look like the Sony is actually more responsive. Let's uh, turn the back. Um, why don't you hit the back button? Will there. do. So, go. And go. So you can almost see that the Sony, by itself, head to head, actually has faster page turns than the Barnes & Noble Nook right out of the box. Now, of course, Barnes & Noble frequently updates its firmware both via wirelessly, or you can download the firmware from the Barnes & Noble site and install it on your device. Now, one of the things that the Sony lacks that the Barnes & Noble has is that this is the Barnes & Noble Wi-Fi, which means that it has a Wi-Fi connection. The Sony does not have a wireless or a 3G connection at all. So if you put these head to head, it looks like the page churning is more fluid and more responsive on the new Sony PRS350 Pocket Edition than it is the Barnes & Noble Nook Wireless. Although the Barnes & Noble Nook Wireless does have the advantage that it can surf the internet. You can go to Twitter and Facebook and any web page that you would normally go to and surf it in e-ink, as well as it does have a bigger screen. Um, the, one of the other things the Nook has uh, an advantage of is that you can buy ebooks directly on the device, whereas with the Sony, you would have to buy books on your computer, netbook, laptop, tablet, 
um, and then transfer the books via USB cable. Whereas with the Nook, you can buy them straight up online, or you can do the same where you can buy books on your computer and then transfer them to your Nook via Adobe Digital Editions or just straight up with Windows Explorer. Another uh, thing that the Nook has that the Sony doesn't is that it has games. So the Nook all in all has more features than the Sony Pocket Edition does. The Sony Pocket Edition retails for about $200, whereas the Barnes & Noble Nook Wi-Fi is between $149 and $159. So you can see here that this is easier to carry around. And if you're buying an e-reader to just straight read and you are not don't want to be too concerned with finding a 3G spot, a Wi-Fi hotspot, or anything else, so the Sony Pocket Edition really has our endorsement because it's very accessible to travel with. Again, it fits in your back pocket. We really like the fact that it is touchscreen, which means that you can basically write notes with the keyboard. It also has really good internal applications for handwriting. You can do math, take notes, it saves a lot of different things. And of course, one of the features that the Sony has over uh, the Nook is it has, um, it does landscape mode. So you basically have to click the option menu here and you could adjust the orientation. Which means is that you can look at it on a side here, whereas the Nook does not have that option if you wanted to turn it to the side nothing happens it doesn't have a built-in gyroscope or an accelerometer so this is another advantage of of the sony e-reader is that it does go into various modes also the nook itself doesn't have any type of handwriting or different type of apps and this is only because the entire sony screen is touchscreen whereas the nook only the bottom part is touchscreen so in our opinion, we really like both of these. Both of these e-readers are the top of the game. The only other e-reader that uh, is probably better than these devices or better by a little bit is the Amazon Kindle e-readers. And we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Nook and uh, the Kindle e-readers in a subsequent follow-up video. If you're making a buying decision based on this, on, on these two e-readers, it's all a matter of why you want to buy the e-reader to begin with. Are you buying it because you're traveling a lot? Because you're reading them in a cafe? Are you bringing them on vacation? Reading them on the airplane? You got to think of the reasons why that you are buying them uh, to begin with. If you're buying them because you want to read an e-reader on the bus on the way to work, in the waiting room at a doctor's appointment, we would have to go with the Sony. It weighs next to nothing. The, if you look at even the weight of this, this is much more heavier than this. This weighs next to nothing pretty well. I could hold it up easily on one finger and it doesn't weigh anything. You can't really do that with the Nook. It's just, it's too heavy. So if you're looking for a light, cost-efficient e-reader, go with the Sony. It retails for about $200 versus the Nook, which is about $149 and $159. Both of these are the best of the best, and we would say that make the decision yourself. For a good e-reader comparison video on the Sony PRS350 and the Barnes & Noble Nook Wi-Fi, this is Marcus. This is Nick. Everybody take care.